Hello there, Saving Throw Exploration Society. This is Riley Silverman, your DM for Dice Ex Machina, as well as your player on The Broken Pact, and I am here today to show you just how easy it is to create your own custom miniatures using the Hero Forge system. And for this today, I am going to show you how I made my mini for Safia for The Broken Pact. Now there is an option on Hero Forge to do what's called an aquatic human, and that is kind of a little more fitting typically for a Triton, I think, an aquatic humanoid. I ended up not choosing this option only because I kind of was playing with the lineage a little bit with Sophia compared to a typical Triton. I was using a Triton build, but giving her more of a Nyxborn background, a little more half Triton-y, and just the aesthetic that I was thinking of for her, I felt that she was better off to start as a human and then allow myself to add in some customized features as I went. So I will show you how I did that. But if you are looking to build a more standard Triton in most D&D games, that aquatic human is a really cool place to start with. And I didn't mess too much with the body, but there are some really fun things that you can do with the body. You can actually choose to give your creatures different shapes. So don't feel like when you pick your racial decision at the beginning that you are locked into a specific type. There's actually a lot of fun that you can have, like with merfolk tails or getting yourself different legs if you want to give yourself a character some hooves if you're making yourself a, a satyr for example um, if you're making an asimar character you can toss some wings on there so those are all things that are fun they don't quite work for Sophia. so we're going to move on to the next section which is clothing now one thing i was very excited about recently is that they actually updated a lot of the clothing options on the site, and so I was able to upgrade Sophia's toga. When I first started the character, I actually used a more modern sort of overshirt with an undershirt vibe to replicate a toga, and then I was able to actually do a, a better one with this. So that's the pretty basic design that I did for the body. Uh, and then after that, it was really just a matter of loading up gear I added, if you can see here, a charged shot of lightning to reflect the fact that what her staff is is actually a staff of lightning bolts that she is ready to fire off at any given time. So that's there. I love this thing that they've got here. They've got these tentacles that are coming up out of the ground. And then once you've added an item, you'll see that another item option pops up and you can add more and you could give yourself potions. You can put a D20 down. You can do whatever you want. You can put a boom box if you want to rock out in, the, in ancient Greece or Theros. But I, of course, just wanted more tentacles because why wouldn't I want more tentacles? The next thing we're going to do is actually look at how we can pose this creature, these figures. So one of the things that I really like to do was kind of give her this more like tense, heroic pose, like she was ready for some action. Now, it is really, really, really easy to paint if you don't have a particular design that's in your head and you kind of just want to give it general colors. You can actually go in and you can just give it a theme that you can pick from. I'm not going to do that today because I do already have an idea of what my Sophia looks like, but it is very fun. It'll, it'll do all the work of coloring in the different parts of it for you and kind of give it a pattern. And even as you see, it changes the tentacles of the base. But now you can see this is the final version of Sophia that I did. And I just filled in a lot of the color. I kind of gave her more colors to her bracelets and her sword, like a little bit of seashells around the floor there. So mostly the same thing, just kind of filling in those gaps and changing some stuff up. But then one of the things that I did do uh, was then I or when I bought her, if you want to take a look at it, when you go to make your purchase and you, it actually gives you a preview of what your kind of colorful plastic version of the character is going to look like. So it gives you an idea of how all those shadings and those colors are going to translate into a final copy. And so it's fun. And you can see how easy it is to just kind of like you could, in a half hour, you can really whip up a really fun version of the character that you want to make. And I love doing it. I find it really helps me to get a better idea of my characters as I make them because as I'm designing them, a lot of their personality and their style comes out. So yeah, I recommend checking it out. And I hope this was helpful for you and have a great day.